American Standard. What's up guys, this should be a quick one I hope. This is a roofer that does some roofing work for us on our installs where we're doing flue changes and things that, that penetrate the roof, I'm assuming. Called the owner this morning and said that he suddenly lost his air conditioning and the outdoor unit won't start. But it buzzes. I have the disconnect out right there. He is not home. Benefit of the Wi Fi thermostat. He's got dogs in the house. Hey, I can turn it on from my thermostat for you. Problem is, the air handler is in the attic. <laughs> So, if I have to get up there, we may have a problem. I have to wait for him. Takes him about a half hour to get here. Hopefully, I won't need to get in the attic because I already know what the problem is. Look at that. Good old puffy contactor. But... Let's see what it does when you put the power to it. For those of you guys that aren't completely familiar with what a contactor does to a unit when it doesn't work anymore. Yep, yeah, absolutely nothing. So let's get this contactor swapped out so I can get on out of here. You know, it was about 10 minutes from me, so he got lucky because I just walked out the door heading to Raleigh, which is about a 35-minute drive from here. So I'd have hated that turn around, come all the way back down here. That would have, that would have been because I'm supposed to go to Cary this morning. This came in at the last minute. Cary is a yeah, well, we'll just say it's a place I. I'd be perfectly fine if I never had to visit again. It's just one of those, one of those towns. But anyway, 45.5. Let me go grab one real quick. All right. We have a 45.5. Yeah, I better test this thing. I don't need to test that one. I know it's bad, but... The way they make things these days and as many times as I've seen a capacitor come out of the box reading 15-20% lower than it's supposed to be just out of an abundance of caution okay, dang it. I miss my old meter where I could just set it to what I wanted with the knob. Now you got to select this. Each one of these settings means you can do about five different things with it. And it's like push, push, push. 45.8. 4.995. We are going to be fine. So let's get this in. no reason to test this one because I'm pretty sure it is dead as a doornail let's get it tight I don't want to, I don't want to wire them out Make sure your stick ons are snug. If it just slides, if it just slides on there, you better tighten it. You're gonna be back with a melted wire in about a week or two. Probably sooner than that. There we go. That one's on there tight. Alright, now let's put the power back on. And we should have AC. There we go. Set and go. 
because that strap is covering the sticker. I'm going to write it on here. So nobody has to take the screw out just to see what size it is. If they ever come back and test it, which this thing doesn't look like it gets a whole lot of maintenance, so that may not be until it goes out again. But, uh, to get hot air coming out of here i'm not hooking up gauges to it because he told me on the phone it was cooling like a cooling like a champ and then it just suddenly stopped so i'm sure his refrigerant charge is just fine if it's maintaining what he's wanting it to do with the 94 95 degree weather we're having i'm not going to touch that he's all set good to go and i'm out of here